Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video is going to be about forensic genetics and uh, as usual I recommend you to pause video here, read the questions, try to choose the correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. All the applications of DNA fingerprinting except and here is the four answers to choose from. So what is a DNA fingerprinting? When you would search internet, you may find uh, such funny pictures like this. Uh, when you search for DNA fingerprint, but actually DNA fingerprinting has nothing to do with such fancy pictures. And uh, here is a real picture that explains what is a DNA fingerprinting. In DNA fingerprinting, we are looking for such uh, sites on the uh, human genome that has variable number of tandem repeats. What this means? That means that in some sites on our genome, as you see here, it is uh, designated with uh, red color such sites, we have um, different number of repeats of the core sequence. For example, this can be uh, T, A, C, A, and such uh, sequence can repeat in different people different number of times. For example, can repeat uh, two times or three times. And uh, if we take in consideration that, for example, here you may have uh, 10 different variations that is present in the gene pool, plus uh, because we have two uh, almost identical uh, chromosomes, we combine them in pairs, one uh, of them you got from your mother, another one you got from your father's side, so we have total number of 23 pairs of chromosomes. So uh, now imagine that uh, on the chromosome number 2 in the side you have uh, 3 such repeats of the core sequence. On the chromosome that you got from your, say, father's side, but uh, on the chromosome that you got from your mother's side, you have only two repeats or, say, eight repeats. So this would be our combination, for example, two, eight. So when we proceed to analyze uh, our genome, our chromosomes, this loci, uh, 13 uh, loci, we have uh, on our genome that is used, for example, in CODI system that FBI is using for DNA profiling. And uh, that means that uh, total number would be 26 sites. Plus we have a uh, site on the X and Y chromosome to designate between whether this uh, genome of the female or male. Because here we have uh, one gene that code for NML protein and uh, in intron, I do not remember exactly, is it uh, intron 1 or second, we have uh, different um, lengths of intron itself. In females it is a little bit longer, but in males we have a small deletion, so when we multiply this site with uh, help of PCR uh, in females, because females has two uh, X chromosomes, we would see only one band. But if it is going to be uh, a cell with um, X and Y chromosome, we would see that uh, this band would separate in two because uh, one of them would be a little bit shorter. But we don't have here variation of the core sequence, variable number of tandem repeats, we just have uh, in females, this segment is larger than in males. So that's uh, why we call this a system um, of the 13 uh, loci. But actually, if you uh, take a closer look, you would see that there are 14 loci, but only 13 loci has a variable number of tandem repeats. So as you see, different combinations are possible for certain uh, loci and so we can get um, totally unique uh, combinations of numbers so unique 
that uh, uh, such variation exceeds um, population of our planet. So if we would uh, make such DNA profile for any person, this can be victim, this can be um, suspect, we can be sure that there is no any other person who has the same DNA profile, probably except uh, twin brother or sister. So um, now we can answer our questions. So in forensic science, and this is true, this is number one application of the uh, DNA profiling. Answer B, to settle disputed parentage, and this is also one of the applications. As you understand, uh, if all chromosomes goes in pairs and you inherit um, one chromosome in each pair from um, one parent, another homologous chromosome from the other parent, that means that uh, you have 50% of your chromosomes that come from your mother's side and 50% of the chromosomes that comes from your father's side. And that means that you would have 50% of the uh, uh, loci that has variable number of tandem repeats that would be the same like in your father and uh, another 50% would be the same like in your mother. So we can use uh, this um, DNA fingerprinting uh, also in order to find uh, if uh, some particular person is a father of uh, some child or not. So answer C, to amplify a mini satellite, and we also call such uh, tandem repeats uh, mini satellites, uh, such fragments that contain different number of uh, repeats of the core sequence. So this is also correct answer, and answer D, diagnosis of inherited disorders, we actually cannot use these uh, sites in order uh, for diagnosis because these sites uh, come from non-coding sequence. So whatever um, you may find um, mutations in such sites, it doesn't affect your health. Those, on the other hand, such sites may be surrounded by um, closely uh, located genes that may have uh, mutations and uh, because uh, when we have two um, sites that is very close together one can be uh, in non-coding sequence another can be uh, coding sequence uh, they tend to be inherited together because when we have crossing over during meiosis it's very likely that these two very closely related sites or located sites would be also inherited together. Because we have over 20,000 genes and uh, in, for example, DNA fingerprinting we have only certain uh, sites, this is not very reliable and useful technique in order to diagnose genetic disorders because just very few uh, genes we may find uh, that is very close to such uh, loci and uh, it's not necessary that some particular uh, number of tandem re repeats would be also associated with some uh, particular uh, mutation in uh, nearby genes. So we don't use uh, DNA fingerprinting for diagnosis of inherited uh, disorders. So our answer would be answer D. And next question, short uh, stretches of DNA used to identify complementary sequence in sample is called. And here is uh, four answers to choose from. Basically, we use this technique when we have a mixture of uh, uh, DNA fragments. And we want to find one particular fragment, so we make... Uh, DNA construct of the complementary sequence. For example, uh, we are looking for a particular sequence that is um, A, A, T, T, C, C, and G, 
g. Just uh, let's pretend that uh, we're looking for this particular sequence. So in this case we have to make a primer that would be complementary to this sequence. So our primer should be T T A A G G and C C. We also can use uh, radioactive bases here, nucleotides, or we also can uh, associate this primer with some uh, fluorescent uh, proteins. So this is what we call props and this is going to be answer A but let's take a look uh, at other answers markers. Markers uh, we call such sites on the DNA fragment that would be uh, unique to this particular fragment. For example, we have uh, one fragment that is uh, that sequence is A A C A A, and the other one that has sequence A A T A A. Now imagine that uh, next to it would be some gene, and this gene would produce normal protein, and here. Uh, we would have also the same gene, but that gene would have a mutation. So this site now we would call marker because uh, this sequence would tell us that this gene has a mutation. It is much easier to find such small um, sites that we call markers than uh, to sequence the whole gene itself. So this is widely used technique in uh, genetics. So uh, ANSA C, uh, VNTRs, and ANSA D mini satellites, these two terms basically means the same. Uh, variable number of tandem repeats. This is what I described here. We also call such sites mini satellites. So these two terms mean the same thing. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.